Okay, so starting our website, the most important part is setting up the files where we will create our website. Um, very important that you get this step right. I would even pause this video and do the steps as Ms. Watts does them on your screen so that you're guaranteed they're set up right. They all need to be spelled correctly, identically to how I'm gonna show you in this video. If you want me to check your work at the end of this video um, to guarantee everything's right, I have no problem doing that if you raise your hand, okay? So out here in the blank space of your desktop, you're gonna right click with your mouse and choose new and then folder, new folder. And we're gonna call this folder specifically my website written just like you see on the screen, okay? Just like that. So I have this folder right here on my desktop, okay? I'm now gonna double click, one, two, to get into that folder. I know I'm inside of that folder because my navigation here and here shows me what folder I'm inside of. Again, out in the white space, out in the white space here, I'm gonna right click, new folder, and again, I'm gonna call this one, all lowercase letters, images with an S, images, okay? So right now I have the My Website folder and inside of that folder, I have the images folder. If I double click on the images folder, there's nothing inside of there, but I can see that my navigation now shows me I have my website and then inside of that, I'm in the images folder. To get back out, all I have to do is click on my website and it takes me out to the My Website folder. So that's how you use this navigation um, and to show you where you're at, okay? I'm gonna X out on my desktop, then I have that folder. If I were to double click on that folder, I can see there it is with the images in it, okay? That's step one. So you might wanna pause, do those two steps, create the My Website folder, right click, file new, folder, um, and then inside of that, the images folder, making sure I spell and write everything correctly, okay? Second step is I need to go to Schoology on my desktop computer. Um, so you can get there from the school district websites, probably the easiest place to go to. If you go to um, ship K-12, or however you get to the gray page, it's not as easy um, as it is when it's on your Chromebook. So if you can't figure out how to get there, ship uh, k12.org is the district site. Um, you can always get there, I think, from students, um, and it's the gray page, okay? Um, and then Schoology link. You can't just type in schoology.com. It won't work, okay? And you'll log in to your Schoology account, okay? Click on your tile. Inside this final coding folder, you will see, you won't see this past coding, you'll see this file called number one, HTML start code, copy me. You're gonna click on it. I'm gonna copy all of these blue words, all of them, all the way down to the close HTML should be the last thing I copy. Copy it, okay? I'm gonna minimize Schoology. I'm gonna open this program right here with the orange S called Sublime Text 3. I'm gonna double click to open. Okay, I'm gonna X out. I have a few things open that shouldn't be open right now. Okay, um, just let me close a few things, uh, remove folders. Okay, your screen will look like this, just blank. And you're gonna paste what you have right there. So it should come up with a tab right here that says untitled and all your colorful code right here. Okay, from doc type HTML all the way down to that close HTML. And you're gonna click file, save as. Okay, where do I wanna save it? I wanna make sure that it is saving to that my website folder. So I wanna make sure that I navigate to that my website folder Okay, that I'm inside of there, my website. I see that images folder right there. I see where I'm at. I'm gonna stay right here and I'm gonna type a file name. This file, I have to spell exactly correct. I-N-D-E-X dot HTML, okay? Index dot HTML and I'm gonna click save. So making sure I'm inside of my website, that I'm inside of that folder and I called it index dot HTML and I'm gonna click save and that file name appears right here, okay? 
pause and do that step too, okay? The next step, I'm gonna come up to my toolbar, go to file, new file. Now I'll see that my index is here and I have a second untitled tab, a blank screen. I wanna be there and I'm gonna navigate back to my Schoology screen, back to that final coding folder, CSS, code, copy me, number two, okay? I have blue code right here from an open asterisk, brace to the close, copy, okay? And I'm going to come over to here, okay? I'm also gonna hit enter and I'm gonna say, I'm gonna make a comment like you learned how to make. Two dashes, start coding CSS after this comment. Okay, dash, dash. Okay, gonna have it just like that. I'm gonna go to file, save as. This one, S-T-Y-L-E-S, -E important that it's styles.css and hit enter to save it. And it should save just like that. Okay, it should save just like that. Uh, the next thing you wanna do, okay, so we have two things done. We have our index and we have our styles. The next thing is that we are gonna practice one thing. So all of your code, you can make a comment in here. All of my code will go here between the body tags. Okay, and then I forgot to put the dashes. So this is dash, dash. Okay, it should gray it out, dash, dash. Okay, there's my comment line in my um, code. Okay, I wanna double check um, one thing. I don't know if I did the CSS one right. CSS comment. Oh, that's right. So let's go back to our CSS. Ms. Watts made one mistake. You can't comment like that. So we're going to fix these symbols. This should be Ms. Watts was wrong. Uh, backslash asterisk. That's how we're going to comment in CSS. And asterisk. Oop. Ms. Watts forgot her code to eight and shift. Okay. So there's the comment. Start coding after this comment. Okay. And I might even put that in your start code for you so you don't have to type those two comments. Um, I will add that to the document that you're copying and pasting so that you won't even have to type those. Okay, those will already be in there to let you know I'm going to be typing between these two body tags right here. And in my CSS, I'm not going to start till after that comment line. Okay, um, you're going to do a test now. Okay, so we're going to type h1 in that body section my name is miss watts and you can type whatever you want there i'm going to backslash h1 to close it the nice thing about sublime is when i start typing it will put it there for you um also if you've noticed when i start typing the open tag and i type in h a list of choices come up I can scroll down and hit enter on the one I want, and it will put both tags there for me. Um, it's pretty nice. Same thing if I'm typing, for instance, an image, which has extra code to it. If I choose image from that list, IMG, it puts all the stuff, the quotations, the equals. Um, it's pretty nice. So again, that is if I start typing a tag, open, and I start typing the letter H, I can select, do I want a header? What tag am I choosing? And then it'll put the rest of it there for me. So I'm going to type, hello, my name is Miss Watts. Okay. I have to hit control save every time I do something. So control S on my keyboard all the time hitting control S. You should probably do it every few minutes. Control S. Okay. Once I've done that, I'm going to minimize my Sublime. I'm going to minimize my, sub, my uh, Schoology. I'm out here on my home screen again. I'm going to go to my website folder, double click to open it. 
Sometimes you have to click off and then click. There we go. I'm going to click on this index file right here. Double click. Okay. And there's my website. Sometimes if you right click, you can open with, if it doesn't choose the internet already for you, you can say what you want to open it with. Um, if that's an option, open with, if you want Google Chrome, um, you can choose open with. And there it is. Hello, I spelled my name wrong, apparently. Miss Watts, I did. So if I go fix that, watch. I put the other T, control S to save, and then I minimize again, minimize, and I hit refresh. We'll update it. So every time I hit control S, I have to also hit refresh on my browser to see the change to the website. Okay, um, so that is how you view your website and that is how you create a tag in Sublime. So I'm going to delete that because that's not what I need um, on my website for my final project. I can hit refresh so it disappears. There we go. Um, one final thing that you are going to type, you are going to type your name up in the title. This is the one tag that you're typing outside of the body. Simply for me, type your name between the title tags. This is one of your challenges, control S. Okay, this will tell me whose project it is when I go to view it. Come back to your index, refresh. I should see my name up on that internet browser tab at the top of my screen um, so that it's saved. Okay, the rest of your website will be going between these two body tags, nothing outside of here. Okay, um, I probably will even add a comment here that says you should not be coding here, okay? I'll add that to the code too. Um, if you have any questions and you want me to check your website uh, before you move on, um, if a pop-up menu comes on to Sublime, just hit cancel, but always make sure you're hitting control S constantly. Um, and that's the creation of your files. So by the end of this video, you should have everything set up. Um, and there you go. Um, oh, one final thing is to show you the CSS. Um, I can type, well, you'll see that in the CSS video. So let's just stop with file setup and viewing your website. And have a great day.